Hello stage one, today you are going to learn about capacity. Our learning intention for today is I am learning to measure and compare the capacity of containers using informal units. Your success criteria is I can estimate capacity and use informal units to order containers from the least to the most capacity. Okay, so what is capacity boys and girls? Hmm. I wonder. Well, capacity <coughs> is the amount, the maximum amount, so the most amount that something can hold. For example, a container, a bottle. How much can a container, a bottle, or any vessel hold? That is the maximum capacity. And you're going to investigate capacity today by measuring the capacity of containers. Okay, boys and girls, these are the things that you will need today. You will need six sticky notes, six of those sticky notes, and you need to lay them on a table in order. One, two, three, four, five, six. You will need six different containers of different sizes. You can see I have a small one, a long, narrow one, a flat rectangle one, a big round one, a medium sized one, and a little round takeaway container. Now these are all containers that I found inside my home. Okay, this is a lolly jar that I had. These are some takeaway containers. This is a plastic bottle, soft drink bottle that I've just cut the top off. This is a glass that I drink from and a container. Okay, now what you need to do first of all is have a look at the containers and think about which one you think holds the least capacity and the most capacity and which ones fall in between. Okay, I'm going to look and I think that this little cup here has the least capacity. So I'm going to put it first at number one. Then the next, oh, I might go with the biggest. Hmm. I think this one has the biggest capacity, so I'm going to put it at the end. And that's going to be number six. Now, the next one. I think this one, this one is number two. I think that holds more capacity than this cup, so I'm going to put it there. Then I think maybe this one. This one holds just a little bit more than this one, so I'm going to put it there. That's number three. Number four, I think this one has a little more capacity than this one here, so I'm going to put it there. And lucky last, this one, this long, narrow one, I think it is less than this big one, so I'm going to put it in front of the big one. There we go. As you can see, I've ordered my containers from least to most capacity. Least to most. You will also need a cup, I mean, a big bucket of water or sand. Now, let's get on with finding out which containers hold the least and most capacity. Okay, container number one. I'm going to fill my cup all the way to the top to find out how much capacity it holds. Whoa, that holds exactly one cup. So I'm going to write down on my sticky note, number one container holds one cup of water. Okay, container number two. I'm using the same measuring cup and I'm going to fill this container all the way to the top to find out its capacity. Now it is just under one i can fit a little bit more in there so i'm going to put just a little bit more there's about half half of my liquid in here oh okay so i'm going to say that this contains one and a half cups number two is one and a half cups now number three how much capacity does this container hold? 
I'm going to fill my measuring cup all the way to the top. You can see that it's all the way to the top. Just, you can just see. Okay. So that's one cup. Let's go again. All the way to the top. Okay, ready? <gasps> wow, look at that. It holds exactly two cups. Two cups of liquid. So I'm going to write two on container number three sticky note. Now, container number four, how much does this cup? this container hold what's its capacity okay one you can see it's exactly all the way to the top one cup two cups You can see it's four. Let's see. Maybe three cups. Oh, let's go with three cups for container number four. I'm going to write the three on my sticky note. Okay. Now, this container, how, what's its capacity? Now, I can't be tempted to just scoop this from the big bucket i need to measure how many of these cups it holds i can also judge as well it's about the same width one i'd say maybe three maybe four one cup gets a little messy so make sure you do this outside or somewhere where you're not going to damage anything two cups three cups I'm not going to fill it up anymore. Although we must fill it up all the way to the top. So it contains approximately four cups. Okay. Four cups. Now, this big one here, I think that holds a lot. So if I know that this, this container holds four cups, I'm just going to tip this all in there. That's four. Five, now this might take a while. Six. Seven. there 10 11 oh I think we might be able to put one more in that's as far as I can go let's push it oh there's not much left in there so we can say 12 Okay, 12 cups in my big one. Okay, now that I've measured the capacity of all my containers, boys and girls, I'm going to fill out my table. Now, in your slides, you will have a table just like this. In the first col column, it says container, and it's numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. And then in the next column, it says the number of cups, how many cups it took to fill the container how much was its capacity okay so i could say that cup number one 
container number one had one cup. That's, that was its capacity. One. One cup. You can see our form of measurement here. It's an informal measurement, which is cups. We're using cups. This is what we used. This was our measuring device. Cups. One cup. Container number two was one and a half cups. So I'm going to write container two, one and a half cups. Now container three was two cups. Who can remember the capacity of container number four? Here it is here. It was three cups. And container number five, this one here, which I poured into there. Who can remember that capacity? It was four cups. So container number five was four cups. Now container number six, this big one here, it was a whopping 12 cups. So I'm going to write 12 down here. And there you go, boys and girls. We have used informal measurements cups to measure the capacity of six different containers thank you boys and girls